What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I want to talk about Dean Pease, um, our new defensive coordinator for our Atlanta Falcons. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. I really appreciate you guys continuing to tune into the channel. Uh, we all on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so definitely continue to hit that subscribe button. Continue to share all my content. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. But with that being said, uh, let's jump right into the video. So, um, like I was stating, in today's video, I do want to talk about Dean Pease, our new defensive coordinator for our Atlanta Falcons. He actually had his first media session uh, with the Atlanta media since he'd been hired as the defensive coordinator. Um, and it was a couple things that I want to touch on really quick in this video. Uh, quick things that stood out to me in his first media session. Uh, first off, uh, Dean Pease talked about his relationship with Arthur Smith and how those guys are really close. Um, both of those guys coached with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Dean Pease before he retired, was the defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. And Arthur Smith was the offensive coordinator. And he talked about, uh, Dean Pease talked about wanting to come out of retirement because he had the itch to coach again. And Arthur Smith basically gave him that opportunity uh, to come out of retirement and uh, be a part of his coaching staff. So I really think that that's huge. He talked about, um, these uh, Dean Pease, excuse me, talked about uh, Arthur Smith um, being a great head coach or being a great coach um, when he was the offensive coordinator there in Tennessee. And he talked about uh, he believed that Arthur Smith would be a great head coach here in Atlanta. Um, another thing that stood out to me as far as uh, Dean Pease addressing the defense this year and what we can look forward to in this upcoming 2021 season. Uh, he talked about us being an aggressive style defense, a defense that's going to blitz uh, from all over the field, not just our linebackers, but safe, uh, safeties, defensive backs. And he talked about us uh, bringing pressure and keeping offenses off balance with bringing pressure from all over the field. Um, and I really think that this is going to be key for our Atlanta Falcons because I feel like over the last couple years, uh, since the Dan Quinn regime was here, uh, we were very vanilla on offense and defense once Dirk Cutter came back. Um, we were very vanilla on both sides of the ball, defense and offense. On defense, we pretty much just ran cover three scheme and soft zones. And on offense, Dirk Cutter just wanted to throw the football all over the yard. But I really feel like Dean Pease is going to bring some attitude to this defense. Um, he basically talked about us being the one uh, that's going to initiate, um, you know, or be aggressive and throw the first punch. Uh, in these games. So I really think that it's going to be very important uh, for this Atlanta Falcons team to be creative. He talked about not only being a 3-4 scheme defense, but being multifaceted and them using the players that we have to the best of their abilities um, and playing to these players' strengths. And we've been saying it all uh, this past season that Dan Quinn and Raheem Morris they weren't using these guys to their strengths uh, early in the season and throughout the season. They weren't putting these players in position to succeed. And I do think that that's something that Dean Pease will be able to do with this team. He's one of those guys that's been all around the league with the New England Patriots and the Baltimore Ravens. He's been around championship defenses. He's built championship defenses and been the, def uh, the defensive coordinator for championship defenses. Um, another thing that stood out in this media session, he talked about um, injuries are going to happen. And as an Atlanta Falcons fan, we know from the last uh, three, uh, three to four years, we've had a lot of injuries on offense and on the defensive side of the ball. But especially on the defensive side of the ball, we've lost guys like Keanu Neal, Ricardo Allen to season ending injuries. Last season, we lost Demonte Casey to a season uh, end an injury and that's been pretty much the story of the Falcons for the last maybe three or four years since we made the Super Bowl is we've dealt with injuries pretty much every single year and he talked about 
when injuries happen, you may not have a player on your bench that can run the scheme um, that you were running prior to those players, those key players you have on your defense um, to fill in. So he talked about being a week to week coach that we're going to go into these games on the defensive side of the ball and we're not going to look the same every week. And I really think that that's important that you keep offenses off balance, that you give them different looks so they don't know what to expect. And that's kind of what I expect from our Atlanta Falcons this season is we're going to catch a lot of people off uh, guard or catch a lot of people by surprise because of our aggressiveness and also because of our creativity. And that's been, you know, one of the main things that we struggle with uh, over the last couple of years. Um, another thing that he talked about um, in this media session um, was basically just holding these guys accountable um, using these guys to the best of their ability. He talked about um, one thing that he noticed last year when he was watching the games is that we had players that can run and hit. And basically, um, I do believe he's going to be able to get the most out of these players that we currently have on the roster. Uh, guys like Dante Fowler, who underachieved last year uh, due to injury. Uh, guys like Marlon Davidson on that defensive line. I really think that um, with Dean Pease being a guru on defense, I do believe he's going to be able to get the best out of the guys that are currently on the roster. And I do expect in the draft us to bring in a couple more pieces to help uh, Dean Pease build this championship style defense. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about in this video um, was uh, the type of players he said that the Falcons want to bring in on the defensive side of the ball. He would say it was three components that uh, make up a great defensive player. And th these are the type of players we're looking for. He said that you have to be a, um, a tough player. You have to be a smart player. And then the last one, um, he said, you just have to give great effort. He said, if you want to build a great defense, you need players that play um, aggressive and players that are tough. He said, you need players um, that's going to give you great effort. And you need players that are smart. And we've talked about this numerous times that you can have the best athletes in the world. But if they're not smart and they don't know situational football and things to do in certain situations, it doesn't matter how athletic you are or how uh, how how athletic you are or how athletically or gifted you are or talented, uh, talented you are. If you're not smart, you're not going to win a lot of games. And. We've seen that numerous times over the last couple of seasons of having guys that are athletes, but guys that are not the smartest guys. So he did say that those are the type of guys that Terry Fontenot, that Arthur Smith, and that he will be looking for to be a part of this Atlanta Falcons organization and team. And I do uh, believe that um, that he's correct. Uh, Dean Pease is correct. That is what we need here in Atlanta is tough, smart players and Guys that's going to give great effort. And he said, basically, if you do those things, that you'll have a winning defense, that you'll have a championship uh, championship style defense. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments um, of the video. Do you agree um, with our new defensive coordinator, Dean Pease? Um, do you like uh, that you like the interview? Um, and basically this drop in the comments below what you took from the interview or um you know, what you thought about the interview. Personally, I really think that the Atlanta Falcons defense is going to take a huge leap in 2021. Uh, we are going to have to hit on a couple of these draft picks, but I don't believe that we have a bad team. I do believe that if you put the right coach in and start the right coach, I do believe that we have a chance um, of being a great team this year. But with that being said, this be your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. Also drop down be uh, below in the comment section if there's a video or a player you want me to take a look at. I will be starting my draft board pretty soon. I'm watching tape on a lot of these young guys that are coming out of college this year uh, to the NFL draft. So um, don't hesitate to drop your comments below if there's a player you would like me to look at. Or if it's any other video that you would uh, like me to look at. Um whether it's Falcons related or not. But with that being said, this has been your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. And as always, Falcons Nation, rise up.
Peace.